Alrighty, so today we're finally gonna be putting the bumper back on the Corvette. As you know, I built that new cage for this thing and it should all be perfect and everything should fit up fine. Uh, we're gonna plastic dip the parts that I talked about in a previous video, uh, just right here and then in here, parts that you can really see whenever the car is out of show or whatever. Uh, we're just gonna paint, we're just gonna plastic dip that black, that way it doesn't stand out anymore. And then we're gonna mount the bumper up there because it was an accident repaired, the bumper is not like 100% straight. And this is like a polyurethane lip, so it kind of just bends and twists however it wants. And so I'm hopefully gonna get that as straight as possible before we put our new splitter on there from Street Arrow. Um, I don't know if we're gonna take it off and then try and do the splitter or how all this is gonna go. I don't have splitter rods. I really don't wanna put splitter rods if I don't have to. I think they're kind of like braces on teeth and they're not really the best looking. I don't think they look bad, it's just eh. Anyways. So first thing to do is take some alcohol and wipe down all the blue parts that we're going to be spray painting and go from there. So I'm going to wipe all that down, tape off. I'm probably going to like back tape it or what, what do you call it? Like back? Yeah, back tape it. Back tape it just so that way we can get in there. Um, you can see it's pulling a little bit, but it's not a big deal. I'll probably back tape it a tiny bit there. Actually, I'll probably just lay it flat so that way I can get in there mm -hmm. without like actually getting it on any of the body that you'll see. Um, this, I'll probably do, I'll probably do the rest of that as well. Yeah, should be pretty easy. Oh my God. Literally this entire bin. Frank. Just literally, we got plastic, a shit ton of this like uh, paper for like masking off things, and then like, I mean, just rolls upon rolls of tape. So, <laughs> plenty to choose from. Out. Are they both really burned out? Oh, this one's actually broken. Film, and then you'll hold this in position and I'll screw it in. That looks pretty gnarly though. I don't know what it's gonna be like. That's gonna look awesome. 
All right, so we're gonna go get some hardware to be able to actually attach this thing to the car. We'll be back, drill some holes, and it really shouldn't be too much more of a process. So we got that middle piece all cut out. We're gonna try fitting it up there right now. Uh, we're gonna use some jack stands to kind of hold the rest of it up. George ended up leaving, he had to do some other stuff right now, so we don't really have a third person's help. So it might be a little tough. We might have to call someone to try and help us align this whole thing, but we'll see if we can do this ourselves. So since George isn't here, we're just gonna have to put you guys on a tripod and we're gonna do our best to line this thing up ourselves, and then just start drilling the holes, mount it all up, and then we're gonna literally just have to take off the whole bumper and everything just to like put back on the things that we took off, the little things that are in here, and then also the wiring that I took out and then put it all back together. So that's super fun. So I just got finished installing the lip and it's actually super sturdy. I'd probably like to put in maybe another two bolts, but I don't think it's really necessary. Um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It's actually really damn sturdy. Uh, we probably could put another one here and there. Um, you can see we got all the bolts under here. I do think I am gonna wanna cut more out of this so that way that there's more room for the air to go into the radiator. I'll do that once I pull this off because I'm gonna have to pull the whole bumper in order to get these pieces in there and then also the wiring harness I took out. My only concern is that it may be a little wavy. I know that it comes up in the middle. If it doesn't look that bad when it's on the ground, I'm not gonna do anything about it. But if it does look like it's too wavy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some splitter rods that just go right there and right there and I'll be able to bring these sides up up and uh, adjust it so that way at least the front looks pretty even. So it's now the next day. Uh, we have a lot more to do to this bumper than I actually thought. Uh, we're gonna have to take this lip off. Now that all the holes are drilled, it's not gonna be uh, very much more to put it back on, but we're gonna take it off. I gotta put in that smog pump and some other stuff. Um, if we take off that lip, I don't think we're gonna have to take off the whole bumper. So we're gonna see if we can do that. Then we can drop it on the ground hopefully adjust the coils, get it at a decent ride height, and then at some point, probably not today, I plan to get a new battery so that way this thing starts more often, um, and then also a bunch of maintenance stuff, but that's probably for another day and probably not even in the video because it really is not that interesting. I'm gonna pull this splitter off. We'll see if we can fit everything up into there, and then I do have to trim this as well. Uh, it is a little too far back for my comfort. Uh, I'd like to just trim it a little bit more, that way there's more flow into the radiator. So 
So I don't know if you can tell, but this is like blown and it's all cracked and nasty and the other one actually shattered. And this is for my turn signals and so like whenever I turn one turn signal on, it goes like super fast and it's annoying. So uh, uh, before I put it all together, just to realize that this, you know, the shit on me, I have to pull it all apart again. Uh, I'm gonna go run out to like, I don't know, whatever the closest auto store is. Gro go grab two of these, throw them in there, put the harness in and then that's honestly like putting it all back together and then we're done, except for lowering it. I wonder if this has a certain way it likes to go in. I don't think so. Thing is that you guys have seen me lower the car before. I went ahead and lowered and cleaned the entire car. Me and George are outside right now in front of the garage. We're gonna take some pictures that we can post. He's taking his pictures right now. And I'll try and get some nice shots of this thing. It's kind of hard to tell with the lighting right now, but it looks super good. We're definitely not gonna get splitter rods. It doesn't look too bad, but it definitely has a little bit of a bump in the middle. I'm really happy with the way the wheels and the lip and everything else turned out. guys that's gonna be it for today hope you enjoyed today's video and peace out